we kind of go back to the, the roots of hack being used within computer science and engineering, where back in the 60s and 70s when people were talking about hacking, they were talking about just hobbyists that were putting together pieces of hardware and building their own computers. And you know, like the people that made personal computers before personal computers were really a thing. And we continue to word, use the word hackathon and hacking uh, in that context and not in the sense of a security breach of some kind. The thing with a, an event like this is everyone's experience and everyone's takeaway from it is a little bit different. With the help of MLH, we've been able to provide a bunch of Oculus Rifts, which are uh, virtual reality goggles that uh, are super easy to develop for and use. And then we also have people that are doing uh, like gesture control type things uh, with wearables. So there's a, something called a Myo armband, which you put on and it can tell like uh, the articulation of your fingers and things like that. And that's really cool. <laughs> we have our corporate sponsors like Bloomberg, Microsoft, Capital One, Ford, so on. They provide us with mentors so people can receive high quality uh, knowledge and experience from these people. I'm to give you guys some ideas from the kind of stuff that I'll be talking about. What kind of stuff you, you guys might be able to build in the future for uh, say like future hackathons or events like this? It takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication for all of these people to do what they do and none of us are being paid for what we do. We do this because we enjoy it and we really believe in this event. We believe in, in uh, encouraging people to learn outside of the classroom and continue to build and to continue pursuing entrepreneurial dreams in, in this sort of low-risk environment. Well, seven is pinky and then I'm so I need two more wires.